I never could have understand what was God's plan. I never could have understand what was God's plan. In my life, one day you reveal to me. God knit to me in my mother's womb Cause he know the plans that he wanted me pursue But I guess I had different objectives in life From the time I knew myself I just had a different vice All I ever really wanted was the vanity and Yo guys and what's the vibes? It's your boy Kev here repping for Team Vibes Welcome to the family channel once again And if it is that you are new to our channel Click that subscription button Click that notification bell so that you can be aware of every upload that is posted by the family. Guys, as you guys would have seen in the title, today we are going to be discussing this very same thing. Are you being disrespectful as a wife or a husband to your spouse, parents, mother, father, whatever it is? It's a no-no and today we're going to be discussing this my beautiful wife and I. But before I do so, and before I introduce you guys to her, by the way, she is here seeing about Sarai, and she's gonna be joining me very soon for us to discuss this very hot debate, all right? Because it's actually something that could basically be a blessing, or it could be a curse. we don't know. But we're gonna find out very soon. But before I do so, I just wanna let you guys in on a little, little, little news, all right guys? So we are on the verge of releasing our new artwork for our jerseys, which is our tees, our hoodies. We are actually going to be releasing our new mask also. So you're gonna see all these things coming. Let me see. Mm, mm, mm. Probably, probably today. But well, you're gonna be seeing it in the next video. Yeah, and I'm gonna be real at all. You'll see it in the next video, what it is basically talking about. But there's a new launch, there's a new way, there's a new idea, and it's coming hot from the Harris family. All right, guys? So do not scroll up, do not scroll down. Click that link and don't you dare blink. We are going to expose a lot of reality things to you guys. So stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned. And I'm going to go across right now. I'm going to go across right, 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 right now so that you guys can meet trees and let's get into the source of this debate. Kaboom! So I'm going to walk across in one, two, three. Let me make my way across there. Right, guys, so here she is. Hello, trees. Hello. How are you? Okay, nice. So, um, I was just let informing them basically of, you know, our mood. Yeah. And you know, your boy was spelling mood wrong. One time. Yeah, that's that. She sat there correct, man. Anyway. No, actually, I was spelling wrong too. Somewhere. So it wasn't just me. <laughs> anyway, guys. So we, as I was telling them, we have jerseys. We have the as, as they know, we have jerseys for these masks, but a new addition is coming. Mm -hmm. All right, new we're things. I'm yeah. um, also glow in the dark. We're gonna be offering a few things. We're gonna discuss that. But today, all right, we're gonna be discussing as you guys see in the title, and it's based on your response to your, let me say, parents. You know, your spouse, parents, or your parents, and just how good do you treat them? Do you treat them bad? Do you treat them good? What is your initial emotional response to them? You know, basically. So the question I'm gonna ask you is. Would you ever be disrespectful to, let's say, my parents? No, I find it is mm. unbelievably disrespectful for me mm. to be disrespecting your parents. Yeah. Or any one of your in-laws. Mm. It don't need to be a parent. So exactly, be, exactly. It could be a, and I, mm. I don't agree with it. I yeah. Because I find they, yeah, nah, you just can't, I can't, uh, I can't do it. Mm -hmm. It's, it's not it's not healthy mm -hmm. um I, I was thinking about it in a sense where for our marriage or anybody's marriage thereof right if it is that okay for instance if it is that trees you know is very much disrespectful to my parents yeah because it go match up our relationship exactly yeah, because, because the thing about it where's my because if it is i don't have respect for them mm -hmm. how can i have respect for you and not just that you will you wouldn't get the blessing the true blessing because there's always yeah, going to be a friction between you and them exactly. and you know so you have to learn that when it comes to your parents now i want to say this because i want people to understand what i'm saying right your wife or your husband is first priority yes mm -hmm. we know that we know that you have to listen to them you have to abide with them you have to agree but there are certain things that you cannot allow happen to you. Yeah, I can't allow. Yeah, I, exactly. You can't allow, especially you can't allow because my parents died. So you can't yeah. allow me mm -hmm. to disrespect your mother. Disrespect, exactly. Even if it is your wife. 
Mm. You have to, if it is you see that I'm disrespecting your parents, you have to pull me up. Exactly. It's, it's, it's like, for instance, your, your, your bigger sister or your sister. You know, yeah. if I'm disrespectful to them, it's not going to be good on your part in the same the way you see me. Yeah, you I wouldn't want you to be disrespecting none of my family members. And not just that, you're gonna, you're gonna be, your response to me is gonna be different. It's not gonna be full 100 in the way that it's supposed to be. Exactly. So that is why we're trying to explain to you guys that yes, your your wife comes first, but you cannot allow your wife or your husband to be disrespectful to your family. Number one. For instance, it's your mom or your dad. For instance, as you say, you know, because your parents died, unfortunately. But you have aunts, you have, you know, uncles and mm -hmm. as I say, big sisters. And I have to show that respect. I'm not saying that I'm going to allow them to be a part of the decisions that we making. That's something personal, that's something mm -hmm. different. But let me say if it is that the person living it here or the person, you know, there with you and you're treating them wrong, you're treating them bad, you're not giving them the attention that they need or you're not seeing yourself treating them basically good. I don't know, yeah. I don't know what you want to say. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't, but honestly, um, to tell you, I don't agree with, mm. with somebody disrespecting their mm. in-laws. Yeah, because if like, for instance, if my mother was living with us, you understand? Yeah, I had a high respect for her. Yeah, yeah, because and, and as I saying, it's not for it's not a saying that you know they need to interfere in your matters. No. No, that's something different. But I'm talking genuine respect. Yeah. Genuine respect, and if you don't do it, trust me, your 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 marriage is not going to be as blessed as you think it should be. Because maybe the person may have a kind heart, mm -hmm. maybe the person may not respond to you in the way that they should. They may have a calm self-esteem about them and they're not going to, you know, basically respond in an aggressive way. But in the eyes of God, trust me, your relationship and your marriage is going to start to go down here because you don't have respect for that person. You don't have, and I always say, regardless, right, it is your parents, it is the people that bring you into this world. So your respect has to be, what, what, look, for instance, if you have your father or your mother, Right, but well, we know God is, is Papa, Papa God. Mm -hmm. Right, if you're dis disrespecting them, you're, dis you're disrespecting God too, exactly. Yeah. And this is how it is. So, you have to have that mutual respect. All right, you know, yes, they're not supposed to be in your, in your personal matters, but at the end of the day, our respect is supposed to be shown. And this is what we want to share with you guys because us now, we as a family, now these are the things that we practice. We're not just telling them, we, and you know, we're not doing it. It is something we do. We respect each other's family. Yeah, for example, if it is you disrespecting my parents, right? Mm. Uh, no, well, yeah, yeah, you yeah, disrespect. That's example, that's yeah, that's an example. Yeah, that's an example. You, mm. you disrespecting my parents, mm. and then it come a time that I come and I want to disrespect your parents, and I don't want you to tell mm. me about it, but then you doing it, or vice versa. Exactly. So, so it's true. It's true. And remember, yeah. either your mother or your father was the one that gave you away on your wedding day or walk it down the aisle you understand so it is a level of respect and if trust me if you want your family to go forward in a blessed way trust me respect the people that is around you just as you respect your wife your daughter your, your son whoever the case is respect the people that you know is responsible for you being here you understand and this is the message that we want to share with you guys today so don't feel that you can get away with it you may feel so but trust me, you're going to see a lot of negative things starting to happen because in the eyes of God, you are not being fair. All right? Yeah. So this is our message to you guys today. And you can continue to follow us and join us on Facebook. You can continue uh, you know, on Instagram or Instagram trees underscore merge yes. underscore face. Yeah. We're going to try to post as much things now. All right? I'm just waiting on the person that, the, you know, the print tree to send the videos and these things so that we can begin posting for you guys to see so look out on trees um underscore mode underscore vids on instagram and you're going to see our things there plus yeah. on facebook also the family yeah. channel the family page sorry and right. on the Tristan Kev. and on trees like trees kev harris basically yeah. all right so i think i now saw a message from them and i am going on my way now basically to go and pick up our merch people I'm excited. So in the next video, you guys are gonna see. So look out for our next video. We're gonna be advertising. I don't know if you have anything else to say to them, Trista. <laughs> yeah, we had to do quick until because then. Sarai make it up just now. So until then, we we'll see. Undivided and together forever. Oh. What I really wanted was a vanity and fame. Till I got myself in trouble and I wasn't wanna blame. I what a shame. I went.
to school and got no education Now I have no qualifications I lack the inspiration Depending on my friends and motivation